The Liberty Learning Foundation began with a question. How can schools, community leaders, and businesses work together to ensure our next generation understands their important role in America's future? They found the answer in the dynamic Super Citizen School Program that teaches character building, financial literacy, and career development across the curriculum and through the lens of great American ideals and civic responsibility. But getting those resources into the hands of cash-strapped educators posed a challenge. So the foundation found donors and quickly realized that donations alone wouldn't guarantee success. Students had to be excited. They had to be immersed in an experience that rallied the whole community and would beg to be repeated year after year. So the next Great Americans bus tour was born and the foundation began kicking off the Super Citizen program with stirring theatrical performances. They worked with sponsors to place volunteers in the classroom and orchestrated emotional graduation celebrations that saw student torch teams honoring local heroes from the stage. This all hands on deck movement has created an overwhelmingly successful model for teaching, inspiring and empowering our next great Americans. In 2012, Georgia Pacific teamed up with the Liberty Learning Foundation and Southern Christian Leadership Conference to bring the Super Citizen program to M. Agnes Jones Elementary School. The results transformed the school and set a benchmark for implementation statewide. It's a wonderful opportunity to actually teach our kids about civic engagement, how to be citizens and how to love their country. Because first and foremost, before you love your country, you must love yourself. Please come on aboard. Uh, this program is absolutely uh, incredible. Curly Dossman is Vice President of Community Affairs for Georgia Pacific and President of the Georgia Pacific Foundation. With more than 35,000 employees, Georgia Pacific is one of the world's top manufacturers of tissue, pulp, paper, packaging, building products, and related chemicals. Dossman says his company believes in supporting their community by making generous contributions through the Georgia Pacific Foundation. When Dossman was introduced to Liberty's Legacy Super Citizen program, it was a no-brainer for him and the foundation. They needed to be involved. Georgia Pacific donated 19 Liberty's Legacy Super Citizen kits for M. Agnes Jones Elementary School. That contribution will help teach 475 third, fourth, and fifth grade students crucial lessons in character, financial literacy, and American history and civics. But why become a donor? Curly Dossman says that his company became a donor for many reasons. The first. I was really pleased with the, uh, the messaging that came across with Lady Liberty and the whole component around uh, citizenship, which is something that we think is uh, extremely important and something that's not currently being taught in the schools as we like to see it. At least when I came as a kid, those are programs that were an integral part of the uh, curriculum. Another reason is through the strong relationship Georgia Pacific has with M. Agnes Jones Elementary. Well, Georgia Pacific has been a partner with M. Agnes Jones for now more than 15 years that we just recently celebrated. And one of the things we've tried to do is work with the principal in terms of how we can help supplement what they do in the actual curriculums and the classroom. And we're always looking for new uh, opportunities to provide extra enrichment. Georgia Pacific thinks of this donation as an investment into the future. A lot of the students uh, come from the same neighborhood. Most of them haven't been uh, maybe outside of the city or maybe outside of uh, the state. And an opportunity for them uh, to have experience in things is very important because I'm a true believer that in addition to the uh, the academic uh, learning that comes in the classroom, exposure is also a key component for the growth of young people. Kids were energized. They loved what they learned and learned what they loved. Exciting and a thrill of energy. It's a wonderful, wonderful program. I'm excited about the results. Over 600 students from kindergarten through fifth grade fill M. Agnes Jones Elementary School's gymnasium. With green crowns on their heads and American flags in their hands, they are opening their hearts to learn about liberty. Today is the kickoff celebration. In a thrilling 45-minute theatrical performance, Lady Liberty takes the students on a journey through history and introduces them to the Super Citizen program that they will experience in the next eight to 10 weeks. 
Atlanta Public Schools Board of Education member Brenda Mohammed says civic pride needs to be instilled in our next generation during their young age. It's great for our young people to start learning early how important their role is in being a citizen and what it takes to be a good citizen and to recognize the contributions of so many other great um, individuals. It was fun, it was engaging, um, even the adults were excited in going along with the program and we all learned something today. She hopes the Super Citizen program will be implemented in all of Atlanta public schools. The whole time I'm sitting there I'm going, okay now I have 13 schools in my district how can I get this program in my school? But it is wonderful and we're excited about it. And what I believe is that this program is gonna catch on throughout the school system and really throughout the country. Fellow board member Byron Amos feels the same way. As a board member that represents this school, after all this time of learning and exploring, this program, I have to say, actually taught me something. This may just been the spark in what I hope will be a wildfire pretty soon. So I hope they take it and actually grow it and then bring it back next year for the class that may have missed it. But we have other schools as well, so I'm looking for other partnerships to help this grow to be introduced to other schools. But hopefully this is a start of some great citizens throughout this country actually growing and making this country a better place. For the next eight weeks, students at M. Agnes Jones Elementary School work through the lessons in Liberty's Legacy Super Citizen program. Through original videos, music, workbooks, and online extension lessons, these third, fourth, and fifth graders are learning and growing as citizens of this country. What I like is that the lesson plans are very straight to the point. It's not tedious. You can read it and totally understand. You go to the resource. It's right there. And it's fun, it's not boring to the kids because they're, in, they're interacting and they're looking along and they remember. So I just like how it all ties in so it's not like we're doing this isolated thing. They feel like they don't know that this is an addition to. They think it's just all part of what we're supposed to be doing anyway so they embrace it more, they're excited about it. Fifth grade teacher Robin Holloway tells us that her students were thrilled when they watched Lady Liberty perform the poem, The New Colossus, during the kickoff a few weeks earlier. One of the requirements for them was to uh, recite uh, The New Colossus. They were excited to see that someone else was doing that as well and they were just floored, okay, that we could do it and that she could do it as well. Engaged, enthusiastic, and energized, M. Agnes Jones students are empowered to be the next great Americans. My favorite thing that I learned about Statue of Liberty is that she gave us freedom. It shows freedom, liberty, and opportunity. That everyone has a chance, chance, to, chance to vote. The reason why it's called the U in the USA is because it's about us. We're all in the USA. I am a super citizen. In just a few short weeks, Lady Liberty and the Next Great Americans bus tour return to M. Agnes Jones Elementary School to celebrate the graduation of the fifth graders from the Super Citizen program. Today, M. Agnes Jones students will receive certificates, recite the Super Citizen pledge, and celebrate their amazing achievement with the entire school in attendance. They'll also complete their torch team projects by honoring local heroes on stage. The students that have been going through the Super Citizen program may have um, all joined what we call torch teams. And each of these teams cited on a person in the community that they believe is a super citizen. This is someone that they believe is actively involved in their community, in their, in their world, as someone who makes our country and our world a better place. What we're going to do is present these people, these super citizens, with one of these little replicas of me. Inside each of these replicas, in the shape of a heart, there's actual material from me, the Statue of Liberty. Miss Shirley Norman. This individual could spend her days in a million places doing a million different things, but she chooses to come and volunteer her time and talents with us here at Magnus Jones. A lot of times it's folks that uh, don't even realize or don't see themselves as a real hero and so to watch that whole experience when they they bring these these folks into the classrooms or on stage in, a, in an auditorium and honor these folks in their communities 
both the reaction from the children and the uh, folks that they're honoring is so humbling and it's, uh, it's inspirational kind of all at the same time. We salute you for all you do and thank you for being a hero to so many children. It makes me feel so good uh, because I've been working with the children here for about uh, a long time and uh, I just enjoy it. I don't really feel as though I'm a hero though. I enjoy what I'm doing. It's almost like when I was retiring from the Air Force, uh, the emotions, um, just the commitment, the passion, just, I mean, I was almost in tears myself. As long as I can touch a child's life or a family's life, as long as my health stays good, I'm gonna be right here. What was so exciting was to see the response from the children. And what you're teaching them is good citizenship. What it does is it sets in a child's mind that they can do. It puts something positive in their mind that they can achieve. And it also teaches them responsibility on how to give back. Today I learned that you don't have to be like a basketball player, a football player, or a singer to be, to be a hero. All you have to do is change, is make a change in one person's life, then you'll be a hero. Yes, I do feel like a super citizen. A super citizen, it gives back, so. I'm a, you know, the MAJ King, so my duty is to um, make sure everything is in order and set an example for all the other kids. These children are our future, and it's people like you who are going to ensure that they can come and make a difference. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. For Georgia Pacific, their involvement has not gone unnoticed. The Liberty Learning Foundation sent out press releases and a social media blitz that recognized their contributions and resulted in thorough radio and news coverage. Hundreds of students and teachers are proudly wearing Georgia Pacific branded Super Citizen t-shirts and the company's logo rides proudly on the bus as it crosses the nation. The Super Citizen movement is just gaining momentum. It's currently in 220 schools and with the help of passionate sponsors like Georgia Pacific, the foundation will move into 650 schools, impacting nearly 50,000 students in 2013. We could not do these kinds of things without support from our corporate sponsors like Georgia Pacific, who's been a longtime sponsor here at M. Agnes Jones. I am just so truly grateful to SCLC and Dr. Steele. And it helps us at the school system because many programs, because of budgetary cuts, you know, we are not able to offer and this is, a, this is where that collaboration comes in. So we are just truly grateful. It was truly a spectacular day and I'd like to thank all the partners involved, everyone that had a hand on bringing this to the district, bringing this to our children. I say thank you. I would really like to thank them uh, very, very much. I'm just very grateful for the outpouring that they have shown. This program is absolutely uh, incredible. It's something that needs to be taught. It needs to be uh, uh, actually go to scale, and it needs to actually be in a place where more students can have the opportunity to witness, experience, and to hear that process. And the fact that it's a full, not just an entertainment component, but there's a full-fledged eight-week curriculum that goes along with that, that provides additional academic enrichment and substance to the program. So I would encourage anyone who's interested in spreading the word about liberty and the great things about this country to join us and uh, become a partner with you and help us take this across the country.